Hey, what's up guys? Ah, Dmitry here coming to you from my house. Just enjoying the family time and uh, just worked out. And to be honest with you, cannot sit still. So I took some time off work for a couple minutes and I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to go live and I'm going to, hey, Casey, I'm going to go live and I'm going to share a couple of very important updates. Something super, super exciting for me. I actually want to take no it'll take no more than 10 minutes i want to share a couple key numbers with you from 2020 i want to share with you a couple accomplishments what we've accomplished and i want to ask you a favor also i need your feedback about directory so this live will be for the most part about directory a little bit about our conference and what we actually accomplished hey alex hey guys thank you so much for jumping in it i promise you i will not uh, take a lot of your time, but I want to share something very very cool So first thing first I want to start with you with the Eric Reno message and the reasons Eric Reno because uh, Because he just messaged me two days ago. He's the latest guy who shared uh, Feedback about directors. So Eric Reno his company was listed in our directory Not a new director, but old director on roofing websites and he sent me a message, so I'm not trying to piggyback writing of his personal brand. It's just the latest person who shared this type of message. He said, I'm, uh, this is his message, I'm three for three when bidding leads from Roofing Insight. So I appreciate that. So, sir, I have a few questions if you have a second, um, but other stuff about directory. Uh, all year uh, long, we've been getting messages like this, all year long. Uh, randomly out of nowhere and you need to understand couple things how directory came about uh, this year so we've been working on this concept for a couple years okay three years ago I decided I'm gonna do it I'm, I, I decided I'm gonna compete with the home advisor angels list I was at angels list in 2015 I was in spec committee for angels list angels list flew me to their headquarters I met Angie we were doing a lot of things with them. I was the highest rated company on Angel's List uh, up until Home Advisor purchased them and they kicked me out. The rest is history. But two years later, I decided to build my own per se Angel's List, similar company that will connect homeowners with the contractors. And why it happened this year, it actually was not planned. I thought I'm gonna save up a couple hundred thousands uh, thousands of dollars and I'll do it in 2021 and then freaking COVID-19 happened when COVID-19 happened we had over 10 classes we were doing classes every month every two weeks sometimes and we mapped out entire country we were supposed to be in New Jersey Atlanta uh, Seattle everywhere like we wanted to reach the country with the roofing insights doing our classes and then <laughs> we only could get Atlanta, Chicago, Seattle, to this day, uh, not down. So we were selling tickets or opening registration. We just couldn't go because New Jersey would close. New York would, would close. You could not travel legally to those states. So we're like, okay, now what? What are we going to do? I have this cap, uh, human capital in my office. I have hardworking people who hungry for work. I have best graphic designer. I have... Uh, web development uh, uh, team overseas. I have good like copywriters. I have everything to make it happen and we decided to pull the trigger and the rest is history. So we spent a couple hundred thousand dollars on this website and we decided to build directory. I want you to think about directory as YouTube or Facebook 15 years ago. It's platforms like this or Instagram. As a matter of fact, directory is building on the same platform as instagram so it's not your wordpress it's very complicated site it's all programmed i mean even our logo we're getting compliments from you know top it's guys in the country who messages like dimension was so impressed on the back end of the website the website is super super fast i mean it's done right it's not your your roofing website i mean like there, there's a lot of stuff there but the thing about it is sites like that they never stop improving so if you would j join me today for the next 10 years you would be getting updates every week because we're tweaking something like for example uh, i'm a youtuber and i do a lot of stuff on youtube youtube every week 
um, improve something on our website. Like one of the improvements we're getting right now, and you, you don't you don't need to know all of this, but we already have. Like we are just in the phase one, the phase two right now, we're creating logins for both contractors and the homeowner. So homeowner will be able to log in, will check their behavior a little bit better. Uh, contractors will have their logins. Here's, the, here's why it's important. You need to understand that in 2020, we smashed every goal. Everything we planned, we exceeded. Like there's not a single goal we did not hit. We wanted to have 500 people at the conference. We have more than 500 people. We wanted, uh, we have certain goal for classes. We canceled them, but we're still, um, we're able to meet, you know, our bare minimum. So if the city was open, we did a class in Atlanta. We did class in Chicago. So we did quite a few classes. We did class in Cleveland, met a lot of you guys. It was awesome. But why Eric Green a message matters to me because we only know about results right now if you have told us. All year round I've been talking to guys, some of you never got a single lead. But some cities like Eric Green, he got three for three. Uh, I know Paul Kirk with Michigan as well. So I know in Michigan, for, like we have solid audience. Uh, one thing about us, we have a massive following with the homeowners just because of our content. We have over 300 videos on YouTube. So we dominate shingle, best shingle contractors, uh, best and worst gutter covers, siding guides, all of that. That essentially, we went after search. So uh, if people are Googling those searches, like who makes the best shingle, who ma makes the best siding, who makes the best gutter covers, they find us and then once they start digging more on the website or go to YouTube. So we, we have big audience and this is our one of our business plans moving forward, collaborate with the influencers, the people trust and actual comfort advice. You know, if they come, you know, to guys like Roger Wakefield right now and asking for recommendation for plumber, he has nowhere to send them. But if I work with that, with him and his partner of directory, he will be sending every single person to directory to find plumbers. And guess what? If they find a plumber on directory, and they have good experience, they're gonna go uh, and hire a roofer later. So we're, we're trying to work with the painters, plumbers, landscaper, you get the idea. But why it's important what we accomplished in 2020? Because we didn't even, like it was a prototype and in the six months, we, like, we had days when we would get 15 leads from homeowners a day. I want you to think about that number, 15 leads a day. Homeowners would reach out to us and send us estimates, send us questions, send us, ask us directly for recommendations. Um, we, we've been talking, like I, would, uh, I, I was writing earlier today, just trying to scrub through manually my messenger from entire year. Atlanta was hot for us. Orlando, California got lots of leads. Michigan, you, I need you to understand, we were not even in business. There was prototype on roofinginsights.com slash directory. That was just feeding off very little things that we have and we're able to generate over 1,000 leads. So we need your feedback. Maybe comment here if you got leads from us. I know guys up north in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, they got a lot of it. Here's the cool story. Some of you guys really believed in it and run with it and put it in your presentation because $20,000 guarantee will already paid even a couple clients because homeowners would hire a contractor from directory, didn't like them, reached out to us, complained. We actually went back and just make it right, send them a check where I would have to. But I want you to think about it. We have one contractor in Texas. He's the only one that I know of who actually took something from us and run with it. Back in the day, I was, uh, about five months ago, we offered $100 to the homeowner uh, if they try contractor from the director. This one guy, I'm not going to mention the name, love him to death. Here's what he did. He started pitching into the, in his sales pitch. We sent, I believe, 12 checks, $100 each to his client. So what he was doing was genius. He would come to the homeowners. He would say, hey, if you go to roofinginsights.com slash directory and you hire me, I'm on this directory, they will send you $100 check. And we sent 12 checks to him. How crazy is that? One guy just, uh, uh, thanks for sharing, couple leads and uh, awesome. This is what I'm talking about. So guys, I understand that some of you might sign up. I mean, think about it. We're asking you for $500, right? And we do full check, we interview you, we build your page. So we go to work for you, right? 
And let's say nothing happens for the first four or five months. I don't want you to get discouraged. I don't want you to, listen, in 2020, we did not have one money dispute with any vendors, employees, subs, students. We just didn't. We don't have, like, if I take your money and you call me out a scammer or uh, whatever the case is, I'll make it right with you. But here's the thing. We're asking you to be patient. We're building this thing and you can be the first adapter. Now, uh, we also need you to tell us when you're getting those jobs because the difference between us and everyone else, uh, we will never be in lead generation service. We are search base. So we don't know what we don't know. When people call you, the only, w the only reason I know that Eric Rina got three jobs because Eric Rina just told me two days ago, I had no idea, three jobs in one city. And I know New Jersey was getting a lot. We were getting 15 leads a day, but you know what those leads were? That was direct increase because we did not have listed contractors. But if homeowners would call contractors from directory direct, which is like 250 contractors, we have nothing to track it. That's going to change in 2021. That's going to change because now it's going to be closed. I want you to think about 2.0 version, 3.0. We will be tracking consumer behavior. We will see how many click your profile gets. Right now, I don't like we have cities like, for example, Chicago. We have like 15 contractors in Chicago and some contractors in Chicago get so many leads. They keep calling us. We already made a video. We actually even uh, met homeowners who hired our contractors Advantix. we even made youtube video about it i want you to think about it. jobs are complete and those guys are killing it now we have other contractors in chicago who never get one job so we're going to be studying what like studying traffic stru studying behavior online again think about us as instagram facebook youtube every week you're going to have update every week something going to be tweaking but i guarantee you one thing we always will be fair to you guys we will never be money driven we don't care if you're 40 million dollar company or 1 million dollar company as a matter of fact I believe that your smaller company, you will take better care of the homeowners. Now, it's all about your performance and it's all about your customer rating with our customers. We will have rating within the website. It's just there is no way about it. You have to ask homeowners how you did. And those of you who will perform well, you will be at the top. Now, uh, I'm not going to share who I'm partnering with, but 30% of the business, all IT part, probably not going to be me, not my team. Um, deal is not final yet, so I cannot share it yet. I don't want to share it, but they are the most trusted people ever. Uh, they're worth over $100 million today. And when they come on board, we're going to be changing very fast. Still, even with them, it'll take six months to a year to build this. So I'm here to tell you, 2020, we crushed every goal. 2021, we'll continue to do that. If you're in directory, you will be seeing uh, better numbers from us, better analytics. We just don't have it. It takes time to build. Right now, everything is manual. If you've been getting leads from us in 2020, let us know. I would like to know. I've been getting text messages just like a week ago. I have a guy text me, said he's closing $40,000 job from directory. We are in this business with you. We treat you like a partner. We're not just a middle man that nobody needs. And here's the thing. Uh, somebody just, it's funny, someone said it in Dimitri We Trust. I want you to think about influencers in 2021, right? Because people lost trust. What's Better Business Bureau slogan? Start with trust. Who trusts BBB? No one. BBB does not take care of the homeowners. Do people trust Home Advisor? No. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna share it publicly. We're gonna make a video in 2020 in review, like all our videos in review. But we're also gonna do one more massive investigation on uh, Home Advisor for legal reasons. I'm not gonna mention it here in this live. But there's a few things that just came up, and the video will be how Home Advisor lies to their uh, to their. Uh, investors I'm telling you right now if you're banking on home advisor or angels list maybe you have some stock you better just take your money and leave because there's quite a few scandals coming there it's not about me I'm just gonna be a reporter who will report it but 
those companies they they cannot change and the reason they cannot change because they're so corrupt and so money driven home advisor just recently in november uploaded new terms and conditions on their website i i was just done researching it studying it for the last couple days insane absolutely insanity it, it's it <laughs> I, I can't, can't comprehend how they do background checks. I mean, I can understand it, but I cannot understand how they get away with it. The same with the Better Business Bureau. So those companies, uh, I think they're doing disservice to the consumer on a big scale of things. And I think we as the contractors have to start, um, I don't wanna say a war, but we start, we have to compete with them in a very smart way. One of the things about directory, I want you to think about this too. We will be, every contractor who is in directory will be also ambassador of directory. I remember back in 2014, 15, if homeowner would ask me about electrician, about drywall guy, if I would have a recommendation, I would actually recommend Angels List. I want to become that. So if you're the contractor and you don't have a recommendation, I want you to be confident in us that, hey, if you don't have a recommendation in your market for the drywall guy, for the plumber, for the painter, you can recommend directory and directory will find a contractor and will back him up with a $20,000 guarantee. And you know, it's not some baloney, it's not some bullshit, it's actually legit. That's what the reputation we're trying to build. So guys, I hope you crushed your goals. This is the time to rethink what's going to happen in 2021. If you out there, if you're watching this video, I know we have a big following with the subs and startups or maybe salespeople. If you try to go on your own, this is the year to do it. Uh, I know it's scary. I know like it's risky to open a business, but 2021 is going to be great for all of us. The shortage of labor is there. Um, the rates are high because of it. And if you're willing to work hard, it's just there. You can start anything and you can finish it and you can make very um, big impact in your family, in your market. I'm telling you right now, 2021 is the way to go. I, I have a lot of guys who are reaching out, asking advice, how to start, what to do. If you need a personal mentor, call us, let us know how we can help with the roofing school maybe. Uh, find a mentor. If you don't like me, find find another mentor who in, in this space, I don't care who match, matches your personality, but don't do it alone. 2021, guys, is going to be absolutely amazing. Love you. Um, enjoy your family. I just wanted to share because, uh, oh, I have one more note. I didn't go over it. So many people over this year criticize us for negative content, and I will address it when I'll do a year in your review. But here's a few numbers because numbers don't like. We have published over 200 videos. For those of you who think that we produce too much negative content, I want you to think about this. We call out five people, okay? We've done way over 25 company tours, lots of interviews. We did 200 videos in a year. And we called out five people. And I'm not gonna sit back and apologize for it. Like we made it hard for three of them specifically, for Rigsby Cameron, for Joshua Wexman, for Mike Powers. Those three have been called out hard times, right? Now, a lot of people um, accused us of drama or being Kardashians of the industry, you know, and fair. I just wanted to explain why that's the case, why drama always picks up. And I wanna call out a few people more. So I wanna call you out because here's the deal. If you think that we produce more content, here's the reason why it matters. Because of you, because you guys like that content anymore. For example, uh, much more. For example, when we published my fight with Joshua Bigger after the conference, that video got 10,000 views in 24 hours. Think about it, or like 48 hours, 10,000 views. When I do Apple Roofing and the latest company tour, which is absolutely amazing with the Gen, uh, Gen X, uh, next gen uh, company here, that video got 1500 views in the first, in the same time period. So you have 
video that took me less than 10 minutes to produce the whole fight the whole video was like three minutes okay there is there was about 10 minute preparation backstory there adam sand comes to me saying dimitri let's do this video really quick because uh Basdom roofer cannot take his gara uh, guitar on the plane so let's crush it we're like okay let's do it so they come grabbed me it was zero again start to finish that video took 10 minutes right so many people criticize me for 10 minutes of my life 10,000 views the problem is the viewer not the content creator and what i mean by that is the reason those videos are so popular and all over the internet because they get likes they get comments now next we go and put the best company tour ever like my personal favorite ryan we talk about real stuff real struggle what do we get in return 30 likes five comments so if you guys engage on our negative comment, if you're spending your energy, tell us how you don't appreciate it. So people, here's what I noticed. People who criticize us for negative content and who've been saying that we've been producing too much negative content. By the way, negative comment uh, content, it's about 3% of what we do. And those people who comment and saying, hey, I don't like this, they never comment to say thank you to the people who open doors for us. Why is that? So I'm calling you out. If you want more Apple Roofings um, type of content, if you want a more of positive, comment and engage. Let us know because YouTube and Facebook will recognize that everybody's watching it, and we we will recognize it too. So when I go and do, you know, um, 2020 marketing guide, and the video gets only 2,000 views, I personally don't care. But I do care when you go and comment on Joshua Wexman and saying, why, why so much drama? Well, how about this for the reason? The guy stole from 150 contractors, $2,2500 on average, and his sales goes $10 million next year. Who's gonna stop him? I'm telling you right now, we stopped Joshua Wexman. We did, all of us. Yes, it's a drama. You know why it's drama? Because when you call out someone, they usually come back with more story and drama begins not by our initial you know call out or investigation by by uh response the same one with the rigsby because so many comments so many shares that's what creates a drama not dimitri who sits here and saying oh i hope this video will go viral you know what we discuss at roofing insights more often than not we're discussing this stuff when we do company tours we're like we hope people will share this and comment and like and you know we want the, that comment content to be viral i don't go and fight someone or call out waxman of powers as a matter of fact it's the most exhausting and the hardest job for me and my team it it mentally exhausting it's actually risky because you don't know what numb nuts those people are what they capable of Right? So like Mike Powers, he runs $12 million company. He screwed over 10 salespeople. Those salespeople keep calling me and begging me to do the review. Do you think it's fun? How about you try it? Go try do a review because Mike Powers sent me a cease and desist letter just for commenting that I'm gonna do the review. So for those of you guys who think we do a lot of negative content i want you to look at numbers and if you don't like the negative because so many of you in 2020 told us that hey we don't appreciate the negative negativity and this it's a five percent of our content and we only see you on negative we never see you in positive we never see you thinking the business owners that you appreciate it look at our best videos like highest quality videos how many of you have commenting on them you have Josh, uh, John Howe Tailing Interview, LC, you know, all of those big companies. I barely see you engaging in those, but you guys are jumping on us for the drama. So drama is you who likes the drama. For us, it's a couple percent. We're probably going to keep doing it in 2021. And I'm on a close on this note. You also need to understand that we turn down about 90, 90 percent 95% of requests to call someone out. Every single day we're getting messages because of our content, because those videos went viral. 
People always send us messages. Hey, talk about this guy. Talk about that guy. This guy owes me money. I just recently got a message. The guy is asking me to call someone out because he's not who he is. I'm like, okay, why, why do you say that? He's like, well, I work with him. Do you want to give me some documents? Do you want to give me unpaid invoices or something? No, but just be careful. No. And uh, here's my answer to those people. You need to shut up just to shut up if you're not willing to send me the to put your name on investigation i'm not taking the story we turn down so many stories because it's not we're not a money collection business which we're, we're trying to set up a precedent that if you're you know mike powers and you're stealing from many we might call you out so others can see it and be afraid a little bit to um uh, to do the shady practices in their business. But we're not in business. I don't want to be known as a guy who calls everyone out. But if you come to us, you better have something in here. I just have a guy who was trying to um, claim that his business partner stole from him his company and this and this. I'm like, did you sign a contract that it's your business? No, I didn't. I'm like, why are you calling yourself a partner? You don't have agreement. It's verbal, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> So guys, if you don't have a proper documentation, if you're not willing to share facts, if you're not willing to sign off on investigation or be part of it, don't even bother to reach out to us. Because so many of you just like, this guy is shady, all right, what do you know? Well, I'm not gonna say anything else. Well, <laughs> what do you want me, to, like, you don't wanna do anything to help you, you want me just to go and collect money from him? So for those who would not file a liens, for those of you who would not take people to small claims, don't come to us. If you come to us, we will help you, but you have to do your part. So guys, I hope you all will kill in 2021. I'll see you probably Monday, probably here. Appreciate all of you. Thank you for being loyal to Roofing Insights. We wouldn't be here without you. You're the best. Thank you guys.